I'm Loz James and this is the Content Champion Podcast, the content marketing and SEO show where you can learn actionable techniques from real world examples. Hi guys, welcome to the Content Champion Podcast and this is another in the SEO Essentials series which helps you get to grips with those foundational elements of SEO that you must get right before you roll out your own successful SEO campaigns or employ a service like uh, Content Champions SEO Solutions. So this time on this solo show, I'm looking at on-page SEO and I just plan to really quickly go through all of those essential on-page SEO elements that you must get right, but quite often, you know, we overlook so that all your pages can have their best chance of ranking properly in the search engines. So first up, must ensure you have SEO friendly URLs. You really need to have the keyword in the URL, which is especially easy to do in WordPress. So for example, mysite.com forward slash blue widgets. Okay, secondly, add your main keywords to the meta title, preferably at the start of the meta title, and make sure your meta title length's about 50 to 60 characters, no more. Then by extension, add your main keywords to the meta description and try to write it in a way within 160 characters that entices click through. So make a little mini ad in the SERPs to click through to your page. Moving on to the page itself, got to ensure that keyword is in the H1 tag, preferably at the start again. Then those keyword variations and the main keywords you want to rank the page for in your other H tags, your H2s, H3s, H4s, and use those H tags properly. Just don't go H1, then H2s, 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 all the way down the page. Make sure that you you have subheadings with H2s and then relevant uh, headings under that as H3s, and then go back to another H2 and have relevant subheadings under more H3s, etc., etc. Okay, the body text, the first paragraph, within the first 100 words, we need that keyword in there, bolded if possible. Remember also those keyword variations, semantically related terms, phrase match keywords in image alt tags and the file names of the images. Also ensure that those images on the page have been properly sized to load quickly for the web. Then of course we've got a mobile friendly responsive design. Uh, All the stuff we're talking about won't work unless it can be viewed on mobiles, laptops, tablets and desktops. So we've got to make sure that you have a mobile friendly responsive design and everything shows properly on each of those formats. Moving on, multimedia. It's very important that you include multimedia elements on the page, especially things like video, graphics, slide shares, screenshots, audio like this podcast. We're using the Smart Podcast Player from Pat Flynn over at Smart Passive Income to include, you know, audio on the page. You can also use various video players like YouTube, Vimeo, and also uh, engaging images. Either make up your own images in Canva or download some great free stock images from Pexels or Pixabay just to make your blog posts, your pages look more attractive and entice, encourage that dwell time. So all the multimedia we're talking about will encourage people to dwell for longer on the page, increase that engagement and reduce your bounce rates and that will be a good thing for your rankings. Okay, moving on to content length. Static pages, you know, perhaps category pages on an e-commerce store or static service pages on on a services site. Make sure these are at least 700 words, but go further, 1,000, 1,500 words. Make sure that blog posts are at least 2,000 words. We do 3,000 word power posts for clients. Get those keywords in there, those semantically related terms as well, and provide a real blockbuster resource that really communicates fully the subject that you're covering and then is relevant to search because really it's a content arms race and the best content will win. And when it comes to those static pages, you know, make it lengthy enough to communicate your expertise. Also, you'll want to look at breaking up your text with those engaging keyword rich headings we talked about and use bullet points, short paragraphs, short sentences. Make the page easy to read and easy to scan. And don't forget 
that call to action at the end of the page as well and periodically through the page at key points for signups for your, like emails or webinars or whatever your call to actions are just make sure that they're in the content as well and that that content is really driving action so it's you know worth looking into copywriting techniques as well to ensure that you're you're driving that action through the page you're listening to the content champion podcast available at contentchampion.com and on iTunes okay moving on social sharing buttons I know this is an obvious one, but just make sure they're there. It's great to encourage social interaction with your content and just having those social sharing buttons. Uh, you know, there are various plugins for WordPress, but make sure you have them on static sites and e-commerce stores as well to share content, to share products. Moving on as well, we touched on this earlier, but as well as your main keywords for each page, look at semantically related long tail keywords and pepper these throughout the text. It's important that the page is optimized not just for a very narrow headline keyword and a couple more, but really look at the content and the relevance of the search holistically and research some of those, you know, related semantic keywords that will help to convey meaning to search engines and help you rank higher in Google and also help you to cover the topic in question more thoroughly so your user your readers get a better experience moving on use outbound links to authority sites as an extension to all this you know content relevancy and content quality stuff we're talking about it's actually impossible really to write an authoritative piece of content or an authoritative article without linking out to a source that either you know proves the the argument you're making shows the stats that you're talking about builds the authority of the piece in that way so you are going to be linking out to other sources of information and this is what google expects to see in a well-rounded crafted piece of authority content so make sure you're linking out and also in order not to lose link juice just make sure those links are no follow moving on let's talk about internal links Now, you can't use high percentages of exact match anchor text in your link building anymore because you'll get a Google penalty for that, a link building penalty. But we can use exact match anchors with internal links. So when you write a new blog post and there is a truly relevant place to link through an exact match or partial match keyword to a money page or a services page uh, or a landing page and you want that page to rank higher in search, just simply use an internal link through to that page from your best pieces of content. And indeed, for a backlink kickstart, you can go in, find in Google Analytics your, say, top 10, top 20, highest ranking, highest traffic, most authoritative pieces of content. And you can go through those and add, you know, a sprinkling of different exact and partial match keyword anchors and link those through to money pages to get them ranking quicker as well. Okay, finally, we've done a podcast on this, but site speed. Ensure the site and therefore the page that your content is on is running quickly because all the good work we're talking about in terms of on-page optimization above won't be worth anything unless the page itself and the website it's on are running quickly. So go back and have a look. I'll link to the previous podcast on site speed so you can have a look at you know all the things necessary to ensure that your site is fast running, quick loading and all the resources on that site don't cause problems when people are trying to click through your pages and read your content. So that's it. Quick fire on page SEO. Get all that in order based on keyword research and when it comes to ranking for your target keywords you'll be cooking with gas. Okay, that's it for this time. Thanks for listening again to the SEO Essential Series, part of the Content Champion Podcast. You've been listening to the Content Champion Podcast. Actionable SEO and content marketing techniques based on real-world examples. Until next time, thanks for being here.